we're here today in Dungeons, going to be doing the second level now, which is Pleasant Creek, and completing all of the challenges in this level. Ah, Master, it's a good thing you're finally here. I hope you were able to sweeten your well-earned break after that last battle against the forces of good with a few drinks and a few diabolic plans. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find that goody two-shoes Magnus Pollen Picker Cellar. As you may recall, He's the poor good-natured magician we want to do away with. <laughs> Master, as luck would have it, there are a number of underground guard posts in the area. I'm sure the use of a little excessive force could persuade them to spit out the information. <laughs> Maybe along with a few teeth. Hmm? Master, you can now build some things yourself, such as pentagrams and piles of treasure. I recommend that you create a couple of vampire bat pentagrams, as they provide you a great deal of visibility. Then you should set up some treasure piles to motivate the heroes. In addition, you can now also place prestige gimmicks, Master. Just try it out and place one of them. You know that prestige makes you stronger. It also provides you with new options for construction. All right, so as soon as we start off here, let's go close this. All right, we're gonna pause the game real quick and um, wanna go check out and discover all the different challenges that we have here to complete. Okay, so we have this one, Whirlwind, which is complete the mission in less than an hour. We have to collect 500 soul energy, and destroy at least 30 gimmicks, um, build 25 piles of treasure, dig 60 fields, and um, never get resurrected. Uh, let's see what else. Acquire 275 prestige, and never have more than two goblins. Um, yeah, never have three or more goblins, so never have more than two, basically. Um, and then collect 700 gold. Now, all these things are going to be kind of hard to do, um, while trying to also do the only two goblins at once. We're gonna, there's a few ways that we can kind of uh, do it. First things first, we need to build some prestige gimmicks. Excellent work, Master. Keep building prestige gimmicks to increase your power. All right, let's actually pause again real quick. Now I want to start do some digging here. Let's dig a path here. And dig out the space, which we're going to use as a prison. Dig out this space. Um, I'm going to need to have this space dug out, dug out. And let's try to get a room built here. <coughs> And let's see, you can place some more prestige gimmicks. I'm gonna unpause actually while they go about doing that crap. <laughs> and we need to get ourselves to 10 prestige so we can build some other stuff. I also want to dig out this bit of rock here. Things are gonna be a little bit slow because we only have these two goblins. I'm gonna go ahead. 
ahead and open one of these heroes' entrances. You have opened a new entrance, master. Actually, let's open both. Um, because even if we're not getting soul energy right now, because you can't satisfy their needs or whatever, um, it'll still be worth opening it up so we can harvest gold from them. Let's build some piles of gold. Uh, not where I was trying to put it. That's unfortunately going to cost me some money. Uh oh, we're under attack. I think this is the time for a strategic withdrawal. Master, that rotten coward has locked himself in. I'm afraid you won't be able to use the door. Alright, we can deal with that in just a second here. There. Now it's placed where I wanted it to be. Let's go kill these guys. And then we need to tell the goblin to dig out these two pieces of rock. Extra gold from. All right, we actually need to use our so energy to raise the uh, levels of our monsters here. I eventually need to do it to level 5 and then we'll save up the rest. already. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. That was basically I'm just talking about the first hero. your dungeon. You should keep a sharp eye on that kind of thing, for if a hero is in a bad mood, he can quickly pass it on to others around him. Ill-tempered heroes are generally no longer impressed by your dungeon, but rather want to destroy your beloved dungeon heart instead. You may end up having to cut that kind of troublemaker out of the herd and eliminate them. Um, one thing that should be noted also is that these conversations are okay to listen to because um, I've noticed that it doesn't seem to actually subtract the time spent in conversation with that guy um, from the game time uh, counter when it's um, basically calculating that kind of shit. Master, look over there! A hero is admiring one of your prestige gimmicks. It's certainly interesting to see how heroes like to go from one prestige gimmick to the next to admire them. You can use this information to influence how heroes move through your dungeon. 
So yeah, basically what that's kind of telling you is that you can use prestige gimmicks and build them in rooms that you want heroes to kind of be attracted to. This one. Alright, we met the requirements for mining. I think I have some attribute points I need too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wimps around here are so cowardly, it's almost not worth the effort of beating information out of them. But only almost. <laughs> Talk, you! How can we get into Magnus Polympicus' cellar? Um, unfortunately, I have no idea whatsoever. But wait, don't hurt me! I can help you. There's a fence running around the underworld here who sells all sorts of illegal stuff. He can help you for sure. All you have to do is give him the secret password. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Master, I think we should talk to that fence. Okay, let's apply some attribute points here. Alright, now would be a good time to raise our monster level one more time. That should be the last time you need to do that. Alright, let's put this big chest of gold down here. We're going to put another one up here. Oh, our prisons are full. Let's pause. And we can only build a single jail cell right now. Let me build it like this. Alright, that'll be good. Alright, sorry for the jump there. Um, okay, so now let's send this chick to the prisons. Now let's head back here. I'm gonna select this piece of wall to be broken down. This is my first real adventure. Enemy. All right, I need to run. Just face this one guy by himself. Should be easy enough to do. Alright, I have some attribute points I can apply. Let's go improve defense and improved attack. And then we'll come down here and kill this lady. Oh no! Don't hurt me! I'm much too low in level to die! Then tell us everything you know about Magnus Pollenpicacella, and how we can lure that magician out! The cellar is well hidden underground, and the only doors leading in are tightly locked. If you actually make it in, 
You should sow chaos and destruction. That's sure to bring him running. After all, that's where he stores important items for his experiments. Okay. Let's finish this one off. Alright, back up here. Bits of wall for digging. I'm gonna put another chest and uh, maybe some skeletons there. Alright, I need to make more gold, so. Kill him right now. There comes my level up. Kill this guy. Do you do it? Might as well lower this. is where you're hiding and building your miserable little dungeon. Uh, we're doing our best. It seems that's not good enough, but never mind. I have started a widow's and orphan's fund for the undead. The gold collected provides these poor undead creatures with care and nurturing, giving them a better future. However, it is just a little short on gold right now. I'm sure you want to donate a lot of gold. I hope that your donation will soon arrive at my treasury. Use the sacrificial column to transfer me the gold. Alright. That's kind of a pain in the ass because we really need gold right now, but. Looks like we need another gel. Let's build a pentagram here. So we can take over the gimmicks in this room. That'll increase the prestige. 
Yeah, now we're at 97. Let's try to dig out some of this stuff here. And put my dungeon lord next to it so that these guys can bring the gold to him really quick and keep digging. I like to try to get that 700 gold before I have to donate anything to the zombie king here. I want to keep an eye on them. The enemy you made me bleed my own blood. Be interesting to see what they can discover here. I hope I can find something useful around here. I hope I can find something useful around here. actually be able to do this. Looks like we got one guy who's almost full up. Looks like these guys are going to go for the dungeon heart. Let's 
kill off these guys so I can start using my gold. Alright, sweet. Let's send the zombie king the gold he needs. Ah, wonderful. Thanks to this gold, I can open an undead orphanage where little zombies can innocently play. That sounds extremely, um, tempting, O oh Lord of the Mindless Hordes. Unfortunately, we must now see about dealing with that Magnus pollen picker. <laughs> All right. Now, let's pause real quick. I need a little more prestige. I'd rather start building these larger jail cells. Oh, is she out of soul energy? Kinda didn't want to engage that one guy, but maybe if I can just kill this guy. Or this one. Probably still use a gold, I guess. <clears throat> All right, let's come back here. I'm gonna build that pentagram right here, so it takes over that room. Let's take them off of digging there. another pentagram here. We want to move our um, radii over this um, area here because you can see there's a couple sarcophagus which are, you know, all right. But the big thing here is this foggy coffin. It gives 75 prestige and that's a big help. And now we actually have 305 um, ah, it's because there's this stony something. So it's actually 150 prestige to be gained from just capturing this one. Oh, even more. A shit ton. So you get the point. About 200 actually is what we gained. So that's a crap ton of prestige there. I'll let her keep doing her thing. I'll run from this guy, but if he's going to give chase, I'm going to kill him. Oh. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Alright, actually, I think that's the uh, 500 soul energy we needed. Yep. Alright, so let's go here and start Psst. working on the main What's quest. What's the secret password? Swordfish? The password is swordfish? Oh, excellent. 
What are you looking for? I can get you anything that even hints of illegality. We need a key to get into Magnus Pollen Picker's cellar. I can help you there. However, it won't come cheap. I'm going to want a lot of gold for that. Best would be if you were to just pile it up in heaps here in this room, so that I can count it. <laughs> I'd like three fully loaded, rotten chests of gold in this room. As soon as they're in my room, fully loaded, I'll either tell you where you can find the key, or give it to you myself. Oh, Master, we unfortunately can't be sure that we can simply beat the information or even the key out of him. I would therefore suggest that we fulfill this boar's wishes and get the gold. After all, we're talking about a much greater evil here. <laughs> Alright. So we need to build a few of these rotten chests of gold here. Let's get the first one down. Run back. And since you don't really need that much more soul energy, you can just kill heroes for their gold. Oh, no, you don't. She's trying to leave. Yeah, fuck that. Let's kill her, too. Those are the gold piles we needed. Send our guy back up there. And now we need to accomplish this one thing likes to break things, which is destroying 30 gimmicks. Now we're going to do that. Get some cheap gimmicks like this adventurous fire pit. And just build as many as you can in this room. Alright, and the quickest way to destroy them is just click and hit delete. of gold. <laughs> Wonderful. I have managed to have a copy of the original key made in the meantime. However, I forgot to mention earlier that while the key will let you open the gates, a powerful protective spell still surrounds the area, making the walls impenetrable. You're going to have to find a way to deal with that. Oh, it's just one thing after another. Master, I think this shield is going to be a hard nut to crack. However, it shouldn't pose a problem for a prestigious dungeon lord such as yourself. That is, if you are prestigious enough. Master, once you've collected enough prestige, you should be able to use it to shatter the spell surrounding the cellar. Master, come over here. Then we'll see if you can break the spell. Alright, so I already have enough prestige, but I'm going to need to basically build into this room. And we're going to set one of our goblins to do nothing but dig. I don't know if that's currently that goblin, but one of them needs to be that way. Oh, back to destroying crap. There we go. Got it. We still have four left, so I don't even need to get rid of. Charge! All right, now let's destroy the rest of these. 
I'm gonna have to come here and start slaughtering heroes. And for right now, let's turn these guys off of maintaining so that they're not using up the gold that I need to build treasure piles and filling them. That um, objective is only building them, not actually having all of them fill at the same time. So that's Master Treasurer. Um, where was it? Oh, yeah, here. So we have 10, so now I need 15 more. I'm going to try to find as much room. Out of gold. Make sure my goblins aren't taking prisoners either. Chief Treasurer. Let's take them off of this and go back to our main objective here. Now we can go ahead and tell one of them to maintain. Look, Master! It would seem the power of your presence alone has weakened the spell. The rock over here has become soft enough for your workers to dig through. <laughs> Excellent! It's time to lay waste to Magnus's cellar. Indeed. So let's get one of our goblins to create a straight line through there. And he's already on his way. Great. we can put in. Let's do some improved guardian. Under attack! Let's not try to pull all of them. Oh. I should reach the next level soon. Taste my plus one sword! Opponent! Enemies! Alright, I shouldn't necessarily be doing this when I'm. Nice 
Alright, there's two down. And there's one back here. It's best to try to... Well, actually, one thing you can do too, if you have a long-range spell like this arcane missile, or magic missile, uh, you can try to hit them uh, from range and just pull one at a time. Alright, let's pause real quick while I edit my bar here. And just in case I need it, some heal. That's just for the boss fight. I'm not going to use it for this guy. No, I want to make sure that Excellent, my... Master! That's the last of the cellar guards. Now, tear the cellar apart, and that useless magician will show himself. Alright. I'm gonna start ripping it apart. I want to be careful though that nothing's gonna come. Let me do something here. Let's teleport back. I just want to kill this a uh, few heroes that I think might um, or just the one really. She might try to go for the dungeon heart soon. Back through the portal. And now we can finish this stuff. Pollute my cellar with his odious presence. That was a very big, very stupid mistake. And now your time has come. Prepare to die. The legendary undead butcher, Butch, will be fighting at my side. First, I had to defeat him in battle, and then rejoin some of his body parts. But after that, he joined me! Master, did you hear that? This Butch would be a great ally for us. Maybe he will join you. But before he does, you must first defeat him in battle. I believe in you, Master. Go out there and kick his fat zombie butcher butt. Alright. Looks like uh, hitting the spellcaster guy first. He's down. Now we only got the butcher left. These guys are pretty easy as long as um, I would suggest definitely going after the spellcaster first because he's easier Excellent to take. Excellent master! You certainly showed that magician. They'll soon be calling Pleasant Creek the River of Tears. <laughs> In addition, you defeated the undead butcher and can summon him from now on. This mighty being will guard your dungeon heart for you, so that you no longer need to protect it yourself. Give it a try, master. Summon him. Alright, so this guardian guy is really useful and will be incredibly useful throughout the rest of uh, the game. Just part of the reason why I wanted to put points into him. 
Um, <clears throat> now, one thing you can do here, this is the final bit of this quest or level. Um, once you summon him, uh, it's over. So just double check that, you know, everything is good, which it is, because these ones will complete when we finish the mission. And let's go ahead and summon the Guardian. Master. Butch is now at your disposal and awaits any hero stupid enough to enter your dungeon heart. I'm sure he'll prove to be extremely helpful in the future. <laughs> Alright, so... Ah, the terrified screams of the inhabitants are music to my ears. Since you saw to it that Magnus Pollen Picker is no more, nothing stands in the way of the hordes of evil. Alright, and as you can see, game time was actually only 31 minutes. Um, even though I know this video is going to be longer because of the conversations. Um, but yeah, uh, and also, you know, try to save some soul energy towards the end there, at least 150 so you can summon the Guardian, um, just in case you're running behind. Um, although, granted, if you follow this kind of um, uh, path in terms of how you go about the mission, it really cuts down a lot of your time. Uh, mainly capturing those prestige gimmicks, which we did, because um, otherwise it would be a lot of soul energy, we'd have to save up a lot of time spent just getting heroes to come in and so forth. Um, so it's actually not that hard to do it with just the two goblins, um, otherwise it can seem really difficult um, without that little trick. Anyways, that wraps up this video, so thank you for watching.